This video is on what I call empathic conversation structure. So it's a <clears throat> structure that I found really valuable to bring to conversations and just the, the having conver uh, structure in a conversation is, uh, I've just found it's, it's so helpful to do. Uh, we can, of course, bring whatever skills we have into any conversation, but there's something about having an, an overt, uh, explicit agreement to, to take turns speaking and listening and to intentionally bring a, a quality of practice to those conversations. And, and then, of course, support. So giving and receiving the emotional support that comes from sharing what, what's really meaningful or important or what's going on in our lives or maybe dealing with some uh, big challenges, uh, whatever it might be, but the sharing in this intentional way that has this bit of explicit structure to it, I find so incredibly valuable. Like it drops us into this depth of empathic connection that's nourishing, it's enriching. There are people that I, there's a, a list of about 20 people or so that are part of my empathic community, I call it, of, of uh, people that I talk to in varying degrees of, of regularity um, where we, we have these kind of conversations. And uh, so to have a, an empathic community of support and practice and a, like a, a network, that it, it's so valuable. Um, and some people I talk with have regular schedule calls every day of the week. Other people, maybe it's just weekly or bi-weekly rhythm. Uh, other people, less frequently. Uh, some people just spontaneously uh, will text or email each other, talk and have a call later that day or the next day or sometime that week. But it's just spontaneous and it's really nice actually to have people to, to, to do both, regular and spontaneous. And they can be short, short calls, just like you know, 10 minute calls or 15 or 15 minutes and with some people it's longer. But uh, yeah, just to have this this uh, kind of web of connection that, that to be to be to have as uh, support and practice is, is phenomenal. I even do this with my wife. So even though we we see each other a lot during the day, we sometimes uh, will say, "Oh, let's have an empathic conversation," and we'll just really focus on one person speaking while the other's listening and, and, and just, again, something about having that explicit understanding that that's, and focus and intentionality really, it's different and it's deeper, it's richer. So in this video, I'll share uh, a bit of how I, how I do those calls. So once a call is uh, set up, it goes something like this. So get on the call and say, hey, yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, how are I'm doing fine, or I'm doing, oh yeah, it's a tough day, a tough week, or, you know, some, something that's quick, though. I think of it, it's a check-in. How am I? How are you? We check in. It's, you know, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute maybe, but something pretty brief. And then we go to, oh, you, you know, are you ready to start? Okay, great. Um, how about we start with a, a meditation? Is that okay with you? Uh and I have found that beginning with meditation together, even if it's on the phone, we don't see, we're not seeing each other, is really nice. It just, it's a sweet way of being together in silence. And maybe it's just taking a few breaths, a few meditative breaths together before we start, or, or 30 seconds, or a minute, three minutes, or it could be more, like just some amount of time of meditating in silence together, uh, I find really, really lovely. And it just it gets very centering and grounding and you get kind of connected to something deeper that you want to share about by, by pausing that way first together. Um, so uh, I highly recommend doing that. So uh, yeah, how about we meditate for a minute? Great. Um, I have my phone all time for us. All right, great. Here we go. All right, minute's up. Okay, so are you ready to to start with uh, speaking? Okay, do you want to talk first? Do you want me to talk first? Oh, okay, you want to go first? Great, yeah, I'll listen first. 
And uh, should we time? How about we do want to do five minute turns? Okay, great. So I found that um, you know that with some people we time it uh, whether it's five minutes or ten minutes or whatever, and other people we don't time it. We just take a turn each of speaking, and the it often is dependent um, on how much like in our schedule, how much time we have. But other I, I do find it's kind of nice to have a time limit that just something really clear, specific. Um, I don't know. There's something really nice about having a, a set time. But I do it both ways, and and uh, yeah, you you can experiment with what you feel like works best for you. Um, okay, so yeah, let's. Uh, I'll time for five minutes, or you can't. Are you gonna time for yourself as well? Oh, okay, great. So whenever you're ready, start uh, start talking. So as the person begins speaking, then I'm listening silently for their while they're speaking, and I'm practicing. I'm very intentionally practicing self-connection practice, so kind of an internal presence practice, and then elements of empathy in my listening and how I'm listening to them, uh, aspects of mindfulness and conversation. So different ways I'm, I'm really intentionally practicing as I'm listening, silently. Okay, yeah, so it's been five minutes. Yeah, okay, great. Now, would you like me to reflect back? I'd, I'd enjoy it if you want. I'd, um, would you like me to? So this reflecting back what we're hearing each other say, I think that too is, I found it really adds to the, the quality and the depth of the, of the connection. Um, I, and I really enjoy it. Uh, I enjoy both you know, being heard that way, you know, somebody saying back what they heard, but also telling people what I heard. It's, it's really funny, actually, to, to see if I can capture the essence of it. And sometimes it's the, uh, what I ask myself to do to kind of push myself a bit and keep developing my, my skills is can I, how few words can I use to really capture the, the essence of it and get to the, the heart, the core of what somebody said. And can I really zero in on that very succinctly? So, and there are times when I find, I really believe that I don't fully or as fully really know what somebody has said until I've said it back. There's something that really deepens in me as the listener when I've said back what I heard the speaker say. Um, and sometimes, you know, hearing what I've said back reflected back to me it's it's like I, I it's a whole nother level of, of of being understood for myself of what I've said so the, there are people though where I uh, we don't reflect back we just take turns speaking and there's something kind of nice about that too like it's a there's a simplicity and a kind of an elegance to that and it does keep the timing up more succinct as well if we don't add in those reflection periods. But if, um, so going back to the call, if I say, so, so yeah, here's what I heard and, and let me, is this it? And, and then maybe you you clarify. Okay, great. And okay. You feeling understood? Great. Okay. You ready to switch? All right. Now my turn to, to speak and, uh, here we go. And uh, so then I start expressing and as I'm talking, I'm also I'm practicing there just as much as when I was practicing as the listener. I'm practicing presence within myself, self-connection while I'm speaking. I'm practicing elements of empathy on the speaking side of that. I'm practicing elements of mindfulness and conversation as the speaker. And so it there there just as many ways to practice uh, as as and when I'm when it's my turn to speak. As, we, as when I'm the listener. So it's wonderful to, to have that intentionality as well when I'm, when I'm speaking and practicing that con being conscious and aware at different levels while I'm speaking. And I'll time myself for five minutes as I'm going. Here we go. Okay, I'm speaking, I'm speaking. And then five minutes is up and I say, um, yeah, you know, I'd really... I'd love it if you want to reflect back what you heard. Or I might say, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fine if you don't want to. I feel good just having said that. If you'd like to reflect, great. Um, 
And then there, there are other times where it's like I really want, I, it's like I really want to feel like it's, uh, I'm being heard and, and have it reflected back and I'll ask if someone's willing to do that. So again, that can vary. Um, sometimes yes, sometimes no. But in general, I think it's really much added value to, to have both being the, the listener reflecting back um, to me or me reflecting back as the listener to them. Um, okay, so yeah, and then that's, we pretty much end there. Maybe we'll spend a minute or two just sort of debriefing and sharing kind of common, you know, just uh, h- how we're doing at the end and maybe appreciation to each other. We got in touch with some insight or something or some, maybe some action, some plan we're going to take based on what, what we've, um, what we've each talked about, something like that, but, or maybe just end pretty quickly right at the end there. So that's a little bit of how I do it. And again, it's just been so incredibly valuable for me to to have a regular practice of this with different people in my life and to have a kind of an abundance of lots of people. And again, varying degrees of how often we'll do that with certain people. But uh, it's just wonderful to have that support. It makes such a difference in my life, the quality of my day and my sense of resilience and ability to cope with challenges and difficulties and just... Um, my sense of health and well-being that um, just feels really integral to, to, to me and to just keep growing and evolving in my skills and capacity. So I highly recommend it, and I hope this was helpful. Thank you. Bye-bye.